Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Hopefully you're all doing fantastic today. Be sure to smash that like button if you haven't already. But we gotta talk about Terra Luna Classic and Daquan. You know, Terra Luna Classic, it's now a thing of the past. I can't believe it's been two years. I've been sitting at home doing nothing. But this is the crazy thing. Daquan won his appeal from Monte, as you know, like um, the latest ruling over the appellate court of Monte marks another event in the long history of Quan's extradition process after his arrest in March 2023. The saga of Terraform unfolds in a court and has overruled his decision. So he was in a country in the Balkans and he was captured with, with, with passports. He was saying he bought these passports or he got them and they were legitimate, but he didn't know. So he bought them legally. Uh, instead, he was caught with what, like, some island passports. Anyway, he wasn't he wasn't in Korea. He wasn't in the US. And now US said, okay, give me give me the Quan. Give me the Quan. He, we're gonna punish him for what he did with Terra Luna Classic. The 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 court never forgets. It's been like two years, right? And here's what actually happened. Um the court said, okay, he can go. Let's go. You know? Um he should be he should be you know, in jail, in the U.S. jail, even Korea wanted him. Uh, driving major arguments, Terra Labs founder should be sent to his native country or not. This doesn't matter in court if he's in a native country or not. But the uh, previously canceled the extradition approval to Kwan to either the U.S. or South Korea, arguing the case should be returned to basic court for retrial. The High Court of Podgorica um, previously determined the legal requirements for Kwan's extradition in November, leaving the decision on Kwan on the Minister Justice of um, basically of the country. Terraform Labs is a company behind the Terra blockchain known as Terra Stablecoin, which collapsed, saw 40 billion wipe the market. It wasn't actual 40 billion, but it was still probably like, what, $200 million or something, maybe $150 million, who knows? It was a lot of money. And what this caused is like a domino effect because a lot of people had money in Terra Luna Classic, but I, I thought it was over for crypto, but it actually did survive. And that's the good news about it. Like, this is just the big news at this point. Uh, I'm personally kind of still bullish on this, uh, on, on where crypto is going on from now. So according to high court, uh, the period ruled to annul the decision of the high court. So that's something interesting that I'm seeing right now. There's been tons of good stuff overall, uh, but the saga of Terraform will unfold. I I'm not sure what will happen next. Could be they do it again, you know, he won't be extradited to the US, but he's gonna he's really fighting for his life here because both um both US and both Korea will fry him, like literally. And maybe he can win both. So there that's the big question. Like, what does this mean for Terra Luna Classic? Well, Terra Luna Classic is always gonna be a project of its own. And it actually kinda it didn't do good without his leadership, but it's a number 84 now. So Terra Luna Classic is actually pretty much growing uh, much, much more. It's already reaching all-time high. So there was bad stuff happening with Terra Luna Classic, but this month, last year, it saw a 47% increase. Uh, and Terra Luna Classic is still 1 billion training volume. So it's definitely far from away, like volume of 35. What about Luna 2.0? So if we check Luna 2.0 here, it's actually number 111. So... It's not that bad considering a lot of people were dumping it uh, because they're getting like unlocked from 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 Terra Luna Classic, you know, um, surprise. Basically, they're getting some some refunds from Terra Luna Classic. If you were holding Luna Classic, you would get some refunds. But look, not bad at all. Terra Luna, Terra Luna Classic 2.0. The only issue is the Quan has a lot of money, but in court of law, maybe he's innocent. He hasn't even been at trial, you know, and I like to give people the benefit of a doubt. Like we push so much on the Quan, uh, Sam Bankman fried and the Quan, they make mistakes. Okay. And they lose people a lot of money, but the court can decide how guilty they should be. How guilty should this severance be? But guys, if you want more content like this, you know, I'm going to keep you guys updated with Terra Luna Classic. I'm going to keep you guys updated with Terra the Quan. Um, I usually don't like talking about public figures. I think it's a very important news. It's like a big crypto piece of history to ever come back to. And don't forget, guys, we're going to be also covering uh, SBF's March 28th sentencing. So that is something to also look into. But until next time, peace.